When you power the unit up, you can see the light blinking because I'm in the Bluetooth mode. So it's trying to find a Bluetooth connection for it to start operating. Now, I'm gonna show all that. Before I do that, I'm gonna go over some of the specs of this unit. It's about 3.9 pounds, 31.5 inches by 2.36 by 2.36 inches. So it doesn't take up too much space. So they're saying a 32 inch a unit. It could be wired analog as I showed or wireless Bluetooth stereo. It's Bluetooth 5.0 or optical connections over the RCA analog wall mountable or table mountable. This has three equalization modes, which I mentioned, and that is on that remote. Right there, it is one, two, and three right there. Three different modes. It uh, has room filling sound, powerful speakers to deliver around high-end audio experience. I measured this as being about 25 watts per channel, which is uh, pretty powerful for most rooms. The LED that you see right here shows the current functions. So if I switch to optical, it then has the optical lit up and I switch to auxiliary, and it has the auxiliary lit up. It's bright in the studio, so it's probably not showing that. So basically you have three ways to hook this up. Bluetooth, audio cable, RCA, or optical connections. Now if you are doing optical, optical connections on here. You have to make sure that your TV is set for optical out and that it's set to pulse code modulation, PCM. And that's the digital way that TVs communicate to sound bars. So make sure you set that. And also remove the protective caps on the included fiber optic cable. So they do include a nice fiber optic cable. Just make sure you remove those little end caps on there when you use this. And again, this is the model TT-SK023. The soundbar is designed for mid-sized rooms, between 30, uh, 15 to 30 meters squared or 160 to 320 square feet. That's like a 16 by 15 room. Uh, so it'll fill the room with nice sound. Now most of your TVs, uh, especially all the newer TVs, they have just horrible sound. And the sound is, is shot downward into the uh, the desk that they're on. So that's half the problem. But with a sound bar like this, you got the sound pointing at you and a multiple array of speakers giving you the bass, the trebles, and the mid-ranges. They're very small profile, but yet they produce really good sound. The sound bar also comes with a nice instruction user guide, which tells you about all the settings for the electrical connections and the optical connection. And this is a separate little packet that talks about connecting the soundbar up to your system. And it has a little template so you know where to put the screws and the mounting plates in your wall that are included with the unit. So included is some nice long mounting screws with Phillip heads on there and your typical drywall anchors. If you're not going to drywall, then you could use these going into the wood stud or whatever you're mounted to that might be wood. Soundbar includes a very nice remote control that has your volume up, volume down, a mute function, has a different audio inputs. We're gonna show that right there, whether it's video, whether it's game playing or music, and you have uh, track changes, play and pause, auxiliary is where you switch if you wanna go um, audio, uh, analog then on the right there you have optical that you want to use optical then on the left right there you have bluetooth and the top red is your power control on and off the unit comes with a us power plug with about a five foot plug on the unit right there the unit comes with a very nice controller as i mentioned and all you do is add your own AAA batteries right in the back of the unit. Very simple, you just put the uh, positive, where it says positive, and the negative flat part goes on the spring, and then you just close, and you just close the unit up, and you're all set. You can also see that on each end, there is a mounting tab 
that allows those screws to slide in there and hold them in place. Just get the right depth of the screw in your mounting surface and this will lock it in place. On the bottom of the unit, they have these really nice rubberized pads on both sides right here. And these pads provide a lot of friction so that wherever you put this unit, it will stay nice and tight in place and not vibrate. Now looking at the back of the unit, you can see where the AC power cord is and you can see the optical connection right there where it plugs in. Then there's an auxiliary in connection if you want to go analog. So it includes an analog cable that allows you to plug into the sound bar right there. Then the other end has your right and left if you have RCA line output on your TV. My TV does not have RCA, but if I end up, to, I, I could also use a mini to mini cable, which I could provide myself and go from the auxiliary in to the headphone output of my television set if I want to go analog. But I'm going to try to go optical, which is better sound quality. On the right side of the unit, right above the Tatronix logo, you can see it has your controls. You have power, you have selection of the audio input, and volume up and volume down. This is the model TT-SK023 soundbar. Right now I'm in the Bluetooth mode, as you can see by the display right there. And when you connect up to your phone, it makes a telephone ringing sound. And you're going to see that the device that comes up is the Teotronics TT-SK023 right there. So that's how you know that that's a device that's connected. And now you can stream music from your mobile device to this device. I don't know if the camera could pick this up, but I'm looking at the unit. And starting from the right side, there is a speaker right there. Sliding along, you see a second speaker. And then there's a bass bar right here which is not a speaker but it's a vibrating diaphragm that gives the extra bass so there's one for the right channel and one for the left channel that's how you're getting that strong bass and crisp highs okay so here's my setup i have the tetronic soundbar uh, just sitting on this antique table where i have my tv and on the back of the TV, there is an optical input right there. So I put the included cable on there and brought the cable and plugged it into the back of the Tatronix unit where the optical input goes right there. And let's see how it does. This is the first time I'm powering it on. Let's take a look right here. So let me... And obviously, um, in a, in a state of major so there's the audio. And, certainly and County is the it's working. So I did make sure the TV was set to PCM. It's, it's and now we got the volume control. On a day to day basis with these and then I could change it. Um, you know, I've never been in a war zone. To the different from filters right there. Films, this is Close as they get. Yeah, pick whichever one sounds zone. best for and you. It's something that is, uh, it, it's something that is. And of course, I can mute it. Ever just like that. So, this worked effortlessly, and I didn't have to go analog. I could have gone analog with my headphone out, going into the Patronic soundbar that way, but you prefer digital. Just make sure it's PCM setting, and it works. So, after listening to this and how easy it was to set up, that's my overall impression. I love this product. It's a great value, sounds great, it was easy to set up, and the combined with the Bluetooth, I want to stream music to it, it's a really good value, and it solved my bad audio problem with this down-firing TV sound. So, I'm going to give this product a full 5-star rating on my channel. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. 
And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.